What do you think? I think it looks great. That was Meredith's idea. Just a little project for the kids. We're having um, fun trying to figure out things to do, like artsy things, for instance, because our kids are not in art class like they normally would be in the middle of the week. We have decided to, you know, do our own art and crafts and stuff like that out here. So we spent a while with the kids making this. How neat is that? If you like that, you're really gonna like the next thing. It has nothing to do with that, but it's it's really cool too. I don't actually know why I'm so excited about the next thing. Well, I do know why a little bit. I think every Pew Pew guy is a little bit of a prepper, at least. A lot of them are big preppers. Um, it's one of these portable battery packs. This one specifically, and this is not sponsored. Um, I paid money for this, I bought off Amazon. Uh, it's a Jackery, I think it's a 240. I'll link the exact one in the description below if you want to see this. But it's just a little portable battery pack. Um, you can plug it into a wall here, charge it up, and then you have USBs and you have a plug. So I actually got it so I can keep my laptop charged, my phone charged and stuff like that. And it's mostly for trips. And when I'm traveling, I wanna be able to work on my computer. And then it came with a little car charger too so I can keep this thing charged in the car. Um, but I also, I would say 90% of it was for that reason, but 10% of it, are you making fun of me? 10% of it was um, the prepping part of me because I was like, what if the power goes out? I have a little generator, but if you don't have gasoline, you know, power's out for a week and we run out of gasoline, are you making fun of me? Listen, I'm not 100% a prepper, I'm 10% a prepper. If the power goes out for a week, we'd run out of gasoline and our generator wouldn't work. We'd still have this battery pack so we could do like basic things on it. But you might think, Matt, if the power goes out for a week, that battery's gonna be drained too. That's why I got this. This is actually, Jackery makes a solar panel as well, but they were all sold out. So I got this one. Um, it had good reviews. Rock Pals, I'll link it as well. And it plugs straight into my Jackery charger. So it has four oh. solar panels. Oh, okay. check, check that out. Why are you even here? I'm excited about this, okay? All right, what do you think? Kinda cool? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, so what it does is it has, well, you can plug just a USB straight into it so you can like power straight from this thing, assuming you're outside. Or you can use this power cord and it has adapters. So it fits like a whole host of things because this thing is made to plug in a bunch of them. Mine takes this one and it plugs directly into this unit here. All right, so notice the blue light is not, there's a blue light right there, but it's not blue. It's not on right now. Let's open it up, see if we can get enough charge off this inside light, which probably can't. Here, Addy, you tell us if the blue light turns on. Oh, it's already on. Booyah! We're charging just off our interior light in here. So um, assuming you're outside, it'll be way brighter. And we'll be charging up that battery pack. So if we go camping, which, you know, we might be doing sometime soon. Tomorrow. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. We're going camping tonight. We'll have power. We can listen to the radio all night long without running out of power. So stuff like that, I think uh, it'd be really cool. Not, there's not a sun at night. Well, there is, but like... That's why we have a battery see. pack. We charge during the day, keep that thing charged, it lasts all night long. It's perfect. I just talked way too long about these two things, um, but I'm really excited about them. And I uh, paid money for them, and I have never talked to these companies. Not sponsored, but I'll link them in the description below. We came out here to try it in direct sunlight, but it's pretty cloudy. There's the sun right there behind all the clouds, so... It's definitely brighter than inside. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we didn't even get it opened up. It's already charging. Cool. And we got some little hooks we can tie it on top of our tent. We got solar roof panel on top of our tent. 100% Oh, we haven't pulled this label off yet. Pull it, pull it. So satisfying. Oh, it's so clean. Check that out. Cool. Somehow I ended up making this look very sponsored, but it is very not sponsored, I promise. But I am very excited. And now I'll never run out of power. As long as the sun doesn't go out. If the sun goes out, we're in trouble. I wanted to show you guys the updates on Bunker Branding 2.0. And I brought the whole family because quarantine. They're not in school. Marriage just loving it. So great. Just loving it. We got everybody here. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're in the bunker and check this out. So they are doing all the drywall. This is the front room. Looking good, Mayor. Looking really good. So that is a little dressing room over there. 
but you can see it's all wet. They literally just threw this mud on here. Um, still gotta wait for it to dry, and then they'll come start sanding it, get all smoothed down, and start texturing, and this is going good. So this is the part that you will see when you come into Bunker Branding. You walk in here, and this is pretty much the only part that will be open to the public, just our little storefront. You know the boss. I'm gonna take him back. I'll show you the rest of it, because I like you. There's one room in here that is not done yet. I'll tell you why later. But the rest of it, this is our great room in here. You can see all done, all the way up. Looks so good. We have offices here. Office, office, closet, air conditioning, closet. This is the break room. We're gonna have a big table. This is gonna be an island here. Big table, microwaves, fridge, all that kind of stuff will be in this room. Big conference room up here. We're upstairs now on the top of the great room. So you can see it's all open. God, it just looks so different. This is the first time I've seen it all sheetrocked like this. So cool, it's like actually looking like a building. It's coming together. Mayor, this looks so cool. Look at our warehouse. Daddy, we did it. Yes, sir. I remember when there was no upstairs and no con and just concrete. I know, me too. It wasn't very long ago, right? It's going good. Oh, I haven't showed you guys this. We have glass now too. We're completely closed in. Sweet! And my kids are amazed by this guy walking around on stilts. So cool. Out in the warehouse area now, so we're on the little top deck. That's where all the uh, manufacturing and shipping and everything will go. Just wanted to get a view of that big wall that's all sheetrocked over there. So cool, so cool. God, it looks awesome. Uh, we did build a little gate here too, and so this will open up in case we wanna put a blob down there and jump down. I'm just kidding, it's for a forklift to be able to lift pallets up. We'll open that up, it'll set the pallet there, we can get a pallet jack and move where we need to go. Which reminds me, I need to start researching forklifts and figure out what we need. I have no idea, but I think we're gonna need to get a forklift ASAP. This railing too up here is going to be all she rock, so there'll be a wall there that you can't see through, which will be a little bit better, make it look a little nicer. It's gonna be a TV on that wall with couches. That'll be perfect. So the kids aren't in your office? Right now, Meredith, when she works at the bunker, which is often, shares an office with Steven and another person, and it's smaller than all the offices here. And then when the kids come, they're in there too. Well, I haven't even been able to take the kids lately yeah. because there's no space for them. Yeah. When there's six people in those offices, which there are frequently because we're trying to work out of a small space, it gets hot. Like the offices are small enough that when there's six people in there, you start sweating. It's, it's gonna be so nice to have all of this room. It's coming together, Mayor. It's doing it. We're doing it. That was a little sneak peek at what is coming tomorrow. Well, not maybe not tomorrow. It'll probably be two days on the Corvette. We're doing a little uh, little something special there. So very soon, you get to see that. Right now, we're gonna go pack up all our stuff and go camping, and I'm not, I'm not bringing you guys because we're gonna be out there, and I, it's already like six o'clock, so I don't have time to film and set up all the tent and everything for night. So I'll just see you out there. I'll bring the drone. I love you, thanks for watching Demolition. Dang it, wrong channel again. Thanks for watching Off The Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time.